Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook. Today, we're going to be making another midweek classic, some chicken noodles. So for this, you're going to need some veg. I've got some egg noodles. I've got some chicken in the fridge. I've got a couple of cloves of garlic and a little bit of ginger there and a few other bits. So I've cut up most of the, the veg, but just to show you... Just got the heads of the broccoli and I'm just cutting them in half. Just like that. Easy enough. Then on to the, the mushrooms. I'm just quartering them. So again, just like that. Now this is a great way of getting loads of vegetables into the kids. So you make it fun, make it tasty. And they'll love it. So again, we're just thinly slicing the onions. So pop them in there. I've already got a yellow pepper cut up, I've got a red one. Because the key to this is to make it as colourful as possible. So you want as much colour on the plate. You know you've, you've got a good meal if it's colourful. If it's all beige, when you're doing something that's got loads of vegetables, then there's something not quite right there. So on here, again, we're just julienning the, the peppers, same size as the onions so that everything relatively cooks at the same pace. So we're just going to cut them up. While I'm finishing that off, I just want to take this opportunity to say, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you've not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing, um, but it means the world to me. So we just dump them all in, in there. So that's all the veg. All cut up. So you see there, we're going to have loads of veg in it. Now on to this. So we've got a tiny little bit of ginger. I've got the microplaner. You can finely chop it if you want. I've just got one of these microplaners. And I'm just going to grate the garlic and the ginger into a little paste. Take your time. There's, there's no mad rush with this. Now what this is, is we're actually going to make our own... Uh, marinade and then cooking stuff uh, sauce for um, the noodles. So just great in here. So once you've grated both of them, I just grab myself a little teaspoon um, just to take it off the back. As you can see there, pop it in. So they're all finely grated. Use my finger to get the rest of it. So we've got that in there. Next we're going to add in some soy sauce. So a good glug of soy sauce there. We're going to add a little bit of a Worcestershire sauce, Liam Perrins, just a couple of drops, again just for that bit of tang. Now I've got some sweet chilli um, sauce here, um, just to give it a bit of the sweet and the heat, so you see a big glug of that. You can at this point add in some chilli flakes if you want to make it a bit spicier. But it's how you taste, how you how your tastes develop. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper. Now in the mug there, again, apologise if that's not your team. It's not my team either. It's one of my, my lad's cups. The In there is a, a, a cup of stock. Now at this point, we add in just a little bit of that. Now here is honey. So you want to add about a tablespoon of honey. Get that in. So again, what you've got there is you've got the, the balance and you've got the salty, the sweet, you've got the, the heat, uh, the, you've got the sour. Uh, it, it's all just coming together in one beautiful marinade. Now you see there, it's quite thick. So what this is where the, the stock comes in. Now, at this stage, I'm only going to add in a little bit just to loosen it. 
Uh, I'm using chicken stock. So we're just going to add in a little bit of that. So just add in there. Again, give it a mix up. Then we're going to marinate our chicken. We are going to use the rest of that stock later. Um, after the, the chicken's been marinating for a little while, we're going to put the rest of the stock in that bowl. Because we're going to then use that to make a sauce for our noodles. So, adding in the chicken. I've just got some chicken uh, breast that's been sliced up. So I'm just going to pop five pieces of that in the marinade. Give it a, a, a bit of a, a mix around. So that it's all nice and coated. Let it become nice and sticky. You can put little cuts into the chicken so it can penetrate deeper, um, but that's up to you. So now onto the, the the frying pan. If you've got a wok, brilliant, use that. I've not. I've got a uh, just a non-stick pan. So first thing goes in. Uh, there's been a little bit of oil that's been heating up. So what we want to put in there is we want to put in the broccoli because that's actually going to take the longest to cook. And we're going to do this in order. So I know I've got everything in a bowl, so it takes a, took a little bit of time to separate them. If, if you're a bit more organised, you can have them in all their own little bits, but you want to just give them a quick toss. Make sure that um, everything's covered in the oil. And then you want to just salt and pepper. That'll draw, draw out any moisture in the broccoli, which gives it a, bit of, a, a better crunchy coating. Even when you add in the, the liquid later on, it will re retain that crispy edge. So we'll let them cook for a bit. As you can see, they've started to come up. Beautiful little crispy bits coming on there. This is the time where we're going to now add in the mushrooms because they'll take the second longest to cook. So again, just want to give them a good mix in. At this point, you can add in a little bit more oil if you want. I'm adding in some more pepper. And a little bit of salt, because again, I want to draw out the, the moisture in the mushrooms. But then you just want to cook them through. And just let them cook until they become, again, they pick up a bit of colour. And then we add in the next bit. So you can see here, there you go, mushrooms are picking up a little bit of colour. So next thing we want to add in is the onions. Again, because these will take the third longest to cook. It's, it's, it's really that simple. Just being organised and, and knowing roughly cooking times just means that you're not getting mushy vegetables. So once they've all been there, they've been cooking for a little while, what you want to do is add in the rest of your, your veg. So I've got peppers here. Let them cook through. Give them a mix. 
give them a toss up just so they, they become a little bit mixed in there. Um, now there you go, you see I've added in all that liquid and I'm putting in the chicken and the stock. Now the key to this now is getting that chicken to the bottom of the pan so that it's cooking through. And you want to turn up your, your hob up probably another one. Turn it up a little bit so that what you're doing is you're you're almost steaming the rest of the veg in this stock. And you just want to cook them through till the chicken is completely cooked. <clears throat> now you can, if you wanted to, take all the veg out, remove the chicken pieces and cook them separate. Then add it in and add a little bit of stock. That is completely down to you. Um, if that's... I've just, I've always found it easier just doing everything in one pan, especially during the week when the last thing you want to be doing is loads and loads of dishes. So you see here the chicken's been cooking. You can just break it up now so that you've got more manageable chunks. So once you know, you also know that the chicken's cooked <coughs> when it's completely white all the way through. <coughs> the good thing about cooking the chicken, especially chicken breast, in a liquid just like the, the chicken and cream sauce episode, is that you, you're you adding moisture. Where, where possible, I will always try and cook with chicken thighs, but if not, if they've not got any in the, the local shops, I will pick up these and I'll cook them in a sauce. Now, at this point, we're going to add in, now that we know the chicken's cooked, I've just got these fresh egg noodles. I have used ramen noodles in the past, um, just quickly blanch them and, and throw them in. It is up to you. Whatever you, whatever noodles you've got ha handy. Again, you could also make rice and just top all this with rice. So I, the first batch of noodles goes in. I want to mix them around, and then I'm going to add some more in. Then once all that's done and you've cooked the noodles for a few minutes, then um, you plate up. Guys, I'm going to shut up now let you enjoy the rest of this video i hope you do enjoy it i hope you do hit that like button i hope you do hit that subscribe button but more importantly i hope you are looking after yourselves and from my family to yours till the next time signing off